The amount of acid that exploded inside the UNL Science Lab is more than three times what's inside this one bottle. Tonight, two students recover from their injuries while the university tries to figure out what went wrong with the experiment. Lincoln Fire Rescue Teams arrive at Jorgensen Hall Thursday. First unit arrived and found some of the staff outside, but not everyone in the building, so they pulled the fire alarm to evacuate the entire building. I was sitting uh, working and then the alarm went off, so I came outside. Firefighters found two injured students in a second floor lab decontaminating themselves. They had removed their clothes, they were deconning, so uh, we confirmed they were deconned. Chief Bob says the explosion happened during disposal of the leftover chemicals. It turns out there was a five liter bottle of uh, some kind of a, they use it for waste acid. When they're done with the experiments, what's left over, they put in a bottle. Um, for some reason, it, it exploded. I saw two people come out in uh, white kind of jumpsuits, um, and they came out under their own power, so it seems like everything was under control. If not handled properly, Chief Bob says these chemicals can be dangerous. It can do some serious damage to your skin, and it will become a respiratory hazard. It can damage your respiratory system. So. There's a lot of potential for some health hazard there. One student had cuts to his face. The other suffered inhalation burns. They will be okay. Jorgensen Hall reopened four hours later. In Lincoln, Michelle Bandur, KETV Newswatch 7.